welcome back to another episode of Ed Hunt. So first of all, uh, before I get the episode started, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that has been watching, liking, subscribing to my channel over the past year and a bit. Finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. You have no idea how much this means to me. And, you know, it's just up from here, you know? I'm just going to keep making more content for you guys. And, you know, I love it. You know, I love taking the GoPro out and um, buying video games, man. That's how, it, that's how it all began, just a love of video games. And uh, being able to share it with you all uh, through this beautiful platform that is YouTube is absolutely fantastic. So thank you again. And um, yeah, let's get on with the episode. So today I've got a bunch of games that I've bought from the yard sale and the car boot fair from the past two episodes. So if you haven't seen those, you can go back and watch them. And see what I bought in them, like everything that I bought. But I've got a selection of games that I want to trade in. So, got some uh, Just Dance games there. Got um, NBA 2K19, Sonic Generations, another Grand Theft Auto. So, we're going to take these down to Computer Exchange and we're going to see how much we can get credit value. And we're back. So, just got back from Computer Exchange. Uh, so I managed to chop in every single one of those games that you saw in that pile. Uh, collectively, they all cost me £14 and I got £31 exchange. So nearly double my money, £17 profit, not too bad. So with that money and with a little bit of an exchange voucher I had previously, I decided to buy a few games. So these are the games that I bought. So first of all, I've got the first Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo absolute classic this I, mean, I had a little test on this yesterday and oh man, it just takes you straight back to 1993 at the fish and chip shop in downham playing this for the first time and this it was a game that got me hooked on all the beat em ups mortal kombat 1993 when i was like how old was i at the time six and just been hooked ever since i absolutely love mortal kombat and like this is a great condition cart as well um and yeah for £10, it's not too bad, you know? I'm willing to pay £10 for a Mortal Kombat game that I'm definitely going to play in the future. So, first Mortal Kombat, £10. Then we have Galaxy Force on the Master System. Uh, this is complete. It has its uh, original uh, poster in there. All in really good condition. And uh, I'm not too sure about this game. I think it's just a shooter. Uh, uh, it looks like it's kind of from a first person or third, second person perspective, I'm not even sure. But yeah, looks alright, looks like quite fun. And it's a, it's an arcade port, so uh, Master System actually does arcade ports not too badly, so I'm actually quite looking forward to getting stuck into this one. And then lastly, we've got Banjo-Kazooie, boxed on the N64 complete. Now, this actually, on you know on the surface of it, actually looks in really good condition. And it is in pretty good condition, apart from this bit here which has got a tight, slight little tear, which is okay. I suppose it's not like the worst in the world. Um, there are manuals in there. There's another book in there. There's a poster in there that explains the Banjo-Kazooie story and the cart is in there as well. I'm not going to take it all out just in case I ruin something, but it was £35, so this was not cheap. But a nice mint N64 game with computer exchange for credit value for a bunch of games that I didn't really want and for a bunch of games that I literally bought for the intention of chopping in the computer exchange, I'm very happy. So I have a loose copy of this and I can sell that. And finally, we've got some other Master System games. Now these Master System games were found uh, outside of a house that was being gutted out um, just down where my older brother lives. And he picked up the bag and there was some Master System games in there. I think he said that the bag had been on the floor for about three or four days and people were just walking past it, no one was paying attention to it. It was on the you know, it was on the street, so I decided to pick it up. I'll show you the picture of the four games now because they were pretty dirty when I got them. I have cleaned them. The insides of the carts uh, of the boxes are actually really clean. So like I'll quickly show you the the games that I've got. So I've got Alien 3 on the master system and just look at the inside the inside is absolutely mint condition it's fantastic um yeah I'm, I'm so happy that i got these games you know because 
I mean, they were just fun. They're just, they're just free games. So, is Alien 3. We've got WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Um, mint. Mint. Like, it, like, the outside was all, like, really dusty and stuff like that. But, and obviously, like, the you can see that, you know, the printed background, you know, the sleeve isn't in the best condition either. But it's not like people won't buy it if it's in this condition, you know? I mean, like, the inside is perfect, you know? So, that is unbelievable. Then we've got Speedball 2. Don't know anything about this game. To be honest, I think it might be some sort of like futuristic like hockey game or something. But yeah, again, mint condition. And I've even seen a Master System game with a purple uh, top on it before, so that's really cool too. And then lastly, we have a Lucky Dunn Caper, or Donald Duck. Uh, this one didn't have the instructions in it, but it's an X-Rental as well. I've never seen any Master System x rental so that's really cool. But it did have a manual in it, just did not the Lucky Dunn Caper one. It had... Alice Kid in Miracle World manual mint condition. Um, Alex Kid in Miracle World. This is the game that's preloaded on the Master System. This is the one that I have. So this is a really cool game. Uh, I I really like it. I really enjoyed the um, the style. I really enjoyed the art style of it, and uh, it's just a bit of a weird platformer that um, yeah that I really enjoy. So yeah, uh, and I had ten pound credit note left over. So that are, those are my pickups from Computer Exchange and the amount that I got from the pile that I showed you earlier that I chopped in. Coming up, we've got more car boot hunting videos. Um, I will be taking part in a retro swap shop stream um, that is run by a gentleman named Retro Chef. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. He does a really cool um, load of streams where they show off uh, retro video games that you have an opportunity to buy. And I will be getting involved in that sometime in June. I'll give you a date a little bit closer to the time. But yeah, for now, um, hit the like and subscribe button if you like that. And I'll see you in the next one.